All right, well, I was going to go ahead and, and start with uh, how we want to go and use uh, Hotkey Net for uh, World of Warcraft. Wow. Either retail or classic or even on a private server with uh, Hotkey Net, uh, which is available by going into um, the hotkeynet.com here on the link on top, P download HTML. And then we would just download and install. Uh, this particular uh, variation in order to get hotkey net. Uh, now we would have the hotkey net in here, and uh, once hotkey net is uh, up and running, uh, it doesn't come with any uh, default scripts. Now I have a script here that I put in, and um, and we'll get into some of the uh, main uh, things. But we go once now that it's running. Um, you're going to have uh, a script, you'll have to load a script or add a script, and here's a script that, that I had in here. Now this is going to work with um, um, uh, Windows 10. I, I've used it and it's uh, no, no uh, problems with either the retail or the classic or even on uh, private. Uh, the general part up over here where we're going into uh, is going to use uh, uh, you use you would use Control R, which is going to rename the World of Warcraft to WoW One and WoW Two, and then you would press Control R again. Now, in order for these commands to run, though, you're going to have to have your scroll lock key on, otherwise it won't do anything. Now, if you're on retail or classic and you've started World of Warcraft, uh, you get your two windows up there. Uh, each one of them is going to have in the title bar World of Warcraft. So when you press uh, scroll lock is on and you press Control R, it's going to rename WoW 1 and WoW 2. Now in retail and classic, you may not see that immediate change. So what you have to do is press Control R a second time, and then you should see the changes. And for retail or classic, you would also need to go ahead and do um, the Control T command, which is what I added in. This this is important for retail and classic, and what that's going to do is rename uh, the windows, uh, one of the windows to WoW One and WoW Two. And the reason behind this is in retail and classic currently, um, WoW generates a, a shadow images that have the same uh, title. Uh, you can use this either in retail uh, or classic as I said also on private servers. You're only going to need to run this part here uh, one time on private servers. And I have not had any uh, issues uh, with this on um, private servers or in uh, Classic. You do need to have two accounts and I'll show you how you're going to go about uh, launching those in a minute. Um, this portion of the code over here is is nice to when you want to toggle between uh, the two windows so it might be nice to add add that in um, as far as your control keys uh, or the keys that you press these are keys that you're going to do it's going to process these guys up over here and uh, send them the, to the uh, the two uh, windows that are up there uh, one thing I found out that is very, very helpful um, is to not add the space key on these keys up over here. You put the space key down here into the uh, movement key and then you won't have any problem um, on retail uh, or even in private servers where you have flying because when you uh, mount or you press the space bar to go up it will be a problem if you if you have it in the key combinations but if you put it down here it should work just fine now um, once once you have that I'm going to show you um, back onto the um, the key net if, if you go into the key net you can go uh, click on forums and then you're going to go down to World of Warcraft and this is where you can get a base uh, for um, 
the thing before the forums weren't working a little while back but now they're working once again but if you click on scripts for world of warcraft you'll be able to get a um, basic one as it says click here for the scripts and then what we really want to do is just get two wows on uh, one pc and if you copy that into the files for um, net 10 uh, the uh, hot key net I should say uh, then um, you can make the uh, minor modifications and I'll go back into that uh, file that I did I, I just simply called this one 2 wow one pc is the way I named it and uh, like I said if you're doing retail or classic uh, you'll need to add this part in there that is not in there um, uh, you probably don't need to add the uh, key designations um, that should work fine these these keys here uh, but you would need to I would say go ahead and add this part in to toggle in between the two uh, wild clients that comes in uh, handy um, also adding in the space key uh, down here with the uh, the movement keys okay now um, that being the situation then uh, what we want to do is um, you would go into I'm going to say for for um, classic WoW uh, if you go into program files 86 World of Warcraft and then it says classic you will find this application here for WoW it says now WoW classic it used to just say WoW like the um, uh, before on on retail but I guess this was way you can make sure you had the right one you would run it uh, make it go two times so that you get two clients as uh, you can see I have down over here in the uh, uh, in the windows uh, on the bottom right it's showing up uh, world of uh, Warcraft and um, so uh, since I have this here uh, going I have the uh, the file in hot key knit uh, ready to go uh, I do not have my uh, scroll uh, lock button on but if you look up over here and when I press the scroll lock it's gonna say scroll lock was pressed so now I know that it's uh, ready to uh, make the uh, the changes so I'm gonna go back up over here and I put the two pages I overlaid them a little bit you usually you just want to get them so that they're one on top of the other that's the advantage of uh, uh, tabbing between them but if I press uh, Control R, which is the one to rename them. Okay, uh, we're gonna get in here. See it? Uh, it uh, it only did uh, the one. Okay, and now once we get them, then we're gonna go ahead and, and press the Control T. Uh, okay, so oops. Well, anyway, that may mixed up a little bit on that, but that's how you get them to to uh, rename and then after you get them to renamed then you'll be able to uh, run into the uh, uh, program okay um, so after that everything should be uh, fine and dandy and like I said within uh, uh, retail uh, Wow or classic Wow you'll need to do that part with the control R and then the uh, two times and then the control T in order for it to work the um, the control T is not necessary for in uh, in classic so um, hopefully if you have any questions on that and uh, you can put it in the comments there I'll try to answer them uh, as as I get to it all right well have a good day